Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk back again today for a new video. Back to back days with videos, <laughs> who would have thought? Um, today I am on my way to the movie theater, getting ready to go see Dune Part 2, one of my most anticipated movies of the year. This will officially be my first 2024 movie, as I haven't watched any new releases yet this year. As usual, you know, January, February is typically when they dump all the trash, so I don't really have the urge to go out to a theater to watch some terrible movies, so I've kind of been waiting around, and finally Dune Part 2 has arrived. Um, for prep work, I rewatched the original film from 2021, and I hadn't seen it since it had come out to 4K in January of 22, so it's been two years and I think the movie largely holds up for me. It's visually stunning. It's got uh, some really good sci-fi elements, some good performances. Story-wise, I found it to be slightly slower on the second watch, but I still really enjoyed it overall. And I think visuals and score-wise is just incredible and amazing. And I've heard nothing but the best things about part two. It's got, I think, currently a 4.6 on Letterboxd. It's got like a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Everybody has just, just been heaping praise on this film, and uh, I have very high expectations. I've heard it's bigger, it's better, it's more bombastic, it's deeper, <laughs> just everything you could possibly imagine about the sequel actually coming through with a really good um a good movie. So looking forward to it. I'm going to head over to the theater. I will uh, see you guys in a couple seconds for you and a couple hours for me. And I will give you my thoughts on Dune part two. A few moments later. All right, guys, fresh out of the theater from seeing Dune part two. And man, was that good. Definitely lived up to the expectations. Uh, this film is epic in every sense of the word, just like the first film, but like the reviews indicate, it definitely takes it up a notch. Uh, everything about this film was just uh, a step above the first, and the first was already so excellent. Um, first of all, the visuals are just amazing. You have to see this on the biggest screen possible. Unfortunately, I don't have an IMAX theater in my close vicinity, or else I would definitely be going to see this in IMAX. However, uh, just seeing it on a big screen in general is fantastic, and you have to do that. Um, secondly, the sound. Sound design is incredible. It uh, just immerses you so much in the film, and it, it feels as epic as what's going on on the screen. Uh, the score, once again, is fantastic from Hans Zimmer. And overall, the performances I really liked for the most part. Um, I do have a few kind of small nitpicks with the plot. I think there's some aspects of it where it struggled with pacing. Um, and it definitely, the film is a little bit longer than the first. I think first film was a little over two hours. This one's kind of getting towards that three hour mark. And you can feel that. I found myself checking the watch a couple times, you know, throughout the film. Um, both to kind of just see how much was left, but also, you know, because I felt like it was dragging just a little bit, but not much. I think for the most part, it's fast paced. There's more action sequences in this one than the first. thought the stunt work was really good. Um, the kind of the climax battle sequence towards the end of the film is perfection. <laughs> I mean, one of the most epic battle sequences I've seen in a long time, if not ever, on a film. So... Um, I really loved this uh, film overall. <clears throat> I'm going to give Dune Part 2 a 4.5 out of 5. Not quite perfect, but in terms of the type of film that this is, sci-fi, action, this is the best that we have to offer at the moment. Um, I think it, it kind of blows its competition out of the water. I think Denis Villeneuve is definitely a master at his craft and he is at the top of his game with this dune series and fingers crossed we get dune messiah which is supposed to be the third film definitely probably won't be happening for a little while we're gonna have to wait but i really want to see this story continue because it is you know spoiler free here it's not a super duper concrete ending some things get resolved and some things do not so there's definitely some room to explore this story further, and uh, I may 
end up picking up the original book and giving it a read. I know many people, it's notorious for being difficult, um, but I may give it a shot and see. Uh, there's definitely, I think there's several sequels to the books. There's definitely more material to work with for Denis Villeneuve, and he, um, what many filmmakers consider to be impossible, he has achieved with these two films by filming Dune. And uh, it's just astounding <laughs> in every way. So I'm uh, going to kind of wrap up my thoughts here. 4.5 out of 5 for Dune Part 2. Definitely stay tuned uh, in the next week or so for some Oscar content as we travel back in time <laughs> to 2023 and review the best films of that year. So hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend. See you guys later.